Hey, what's up people? So today we're going to take a look at the antenna system that's up on top of this thing and the antennas I have. Um, we're inside the Suburban today because, well, it is a rainy day out there. But that's okay. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. Okay, here we have my two antennas. Monkey Made is the brand. So if you would like to uh, know a little bit more about them, you can go ahead and search that. But, they are off the vehicle and inside here to help illustrate the point that this one's the primary, the one all the power goes to, and this one here is the reflector. Right now, I have it about 11 and a half inches longer than the primary. Um, that's working right now. Um, don't know that I'm really gonna stay with that, but right now, this particular setup does have my signal going forward the most. Um, thing of it is, that doesn't mean anything for you. So, <laughs> the best way to describe it is uh, every situation is different. Every vehicle is different. You could take these, these two antennas work great on this Suburban right here, right now. I throw them up on there, my directions run in front, solid. But if I take these two antennas and stick them on somebody else's Suburban or another vehicle, they mean nothing. These antennas, these two antennas have been specifically tuned for this vehicle. So any information that I can give you about that only applies to this particular situation but I can at least tell you how I got these ones doing what they're doing so essentially this antenna here your reflector is just an extension of ground minute changes in length with your reflector are what determine your signal's direction. I mean like very, very small incremental distance changes in this antenna will drastically affect what your signals, your radiation pattern. It's, it's crazy. And that's where the art of radio really gets into it in my opinion because uh, you can spend days fiddling around with the length on this thing and getting completely different radiation patterns with different lengths so that's where the fun of it is I mean every setup on everybody's vehicle is different there is no one way to do this so let's take a look at the mounts themselves those are really where the action is happening here. Okay, where are we? Here we are. Okay. So what we have here, this big white part in the middle, that's your dielectric. That's basically, uh, that's the material that's inside your coax here between, shoot, between your primary and your negative. This plastic stuff inside your coax, that's called dielectric. Well, that's the same thing here. So what we have here up on this antenna mount is right here's our primary, that's your hot. That's uh, your center, what's coming out of the middle of your coax, your center conductor, I guess we'll call it. And out here is your shielding, the, ground, the copper uh, shielding that goes around the outside has been just twisted up and connected to ground over here. 
So I don't know if this will work for you, but from our primary back to our reflector, center of that conductor, the center of this conductor, we have 72 inches. So maybe those dis that distance will work for you. Maybe it won't, but it's a great place to start because it works really well on this. Well, that's it. Hopefully you found something useful in that information. But really the main thing is uh, hopefully you can get some basics from the videos that I put up and go out there and experiment because really that's that's what you do with radio you try things and find out what works and because every situation is different you don't really know what's going to work and what's not until you get out there and try it so um well if you like the uh the content that i provide please give me a like and a subscribe and um stop back for more competition radio content because if you're not aware this vehicle that i'm putting together we're going to be competing in the spring so um we're gonna you guys are gonna be coming along for that so it should be a lot of fun anyway until next time 219 in the keystone bag out